Good morning, Cedar Park High School. It's Wednesday, November 14th, and it's a V-Day. I'm Ellen Neal. And I'm Evan Vines, and the WolfCast starts now. From laying the ice out for hockey games to kids laughing at the circus, the HEB Center is home to many events in the Cedar Park community. Let's take a look at how the HEB Center staff works hard to host amazing events. Reporter Emma Jamil has more. Thanks guys. I got a chance to talk with the events manager and director of event services about how their staff prepares for different events. At the HEB Center, it's not just the events that the staff has to prepare for. Concessions, vendors, and medical assistance are some things that make the HEB Center an amazing place to come see events. Every event goes through us, whether it's a small meeting in our meeting rooms to a sold out show here. We have hockey games with the Texas Stars, the Austin Spurs here, various concerts, and like I said, little meetings in our meeting rooms. So every detail goes through us and we disperse them out to our different departments. We get all of the details for the event from either our tour contact or our contacts with the Spurs or the Texas Stars. We then put all that information into an internal document that we call our event memo. And that gets sent out to all of our full-time staff. Um, our operations team and our conversion staff take that and they basically turn the arena into whatever event that we need. Now that's putting down a basketball court, um, that's building a stage for our artist, um, and then putting tables and chairs and all the house materials in the various places that we need. The EGB Center isn't just a big arena. They also have a club lounge, personal suites, and a range of many different food and beverage options throughout the arena. Many staff workers make sure that the whole building is clean and ready for guests. A little bit of different setup for everything, but our ops team is mainly who helps set that all up. They're the ones who oversee the conversions of our events from one day to another. And then they're also making sure that the events are correct, the stages are accurate, and then our event management team, they come in and they double check everything to make sure we're good to go. And then we, we get going for all events uh, when stores open. Next time you see events at the HEB Center, make sure to thank a vendor, janitor, or staff member for all their hard work. With CPHS News, I'm Emma Jamal. Back to y'all. Thanks, Emma. There are lots of events coming up this winter. Be sure to check them out at www.hebcenter.com events. Coming up next, we have your top three things this morning with Claire Millay. But first, these announcements and a quick word from your, our sponsor. Introducing the new CPHS News app, where you can rewatch segments from the Wolfcast that you missed the day of, while you can also read top story articles from the Wolfpack and never miss the final score. Don't forget to turn on notifications to keep up to date with important alerts. Download the CPHS News app today. Smoky Moe's Barbecue, the best barbecue that money can buy, probably supporting Cedar Park High School. Here are the top three things that you need to know for today. First, yesterday afternoon, a man was killed at the Woodson Street Hotel. The Austin Travis County EMS reported that the man was transported to the hospital with serious injuries and a gunshot wound. Police say the cause of death is still being investigated. At a press conference held yesterday evening, officials said they are still examining the scene to get more information on the suspect. Next, last Sunday marked the 100-year anniversary of the end of the First World War. Heads of state traveled to France to take part in the ceremonies commemorating the anniversary. 
French President Emmanuel Macron hosted a dinner at the Musée d'Orsay in Paris this past Saturday evening to honor the sacrifices made by millions of soldiers and civilians over the four-year war. Finally, last Friday there were several sightings of a quote, very bright, unidentified object seen flying through the air over Ireland. At least four pilots reported the sight, and many are speculating that this could potentially be a UFO sighting. However, aviation journalist Jerry Byrne told the Irish Examiner that they were likely only meteorites. Those are your top three things. With CPHS News, I'm Claire Mallet. Thank you, Claire. That's all we have for today with CPHS News. I'm Ellen Neal. And I'm Evan Vines. Remember to make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Have a phenomenal day, Cedar Park. Hey there, Evan Vines here. If you liked what you saw, make sure to hit that like button. And if you enjoy all things CPHS, hit subscribe. Have a great day or not, the choice is yours.